Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Mishura. Today I got a couple of quick tips for you. I recently made a lot of stimulators and here is the grip. I used the grizzly hackle on the front of this of the stimulator and here is the hackle tips from all of them and now I have a bunch of hackle tips that I could use to make uh, Adam's wings with. So when you get those, especially the grizzly, when you get the, the tips, don't throw them away. Just put them on the side and put them in a bag. And now you got hackle tips for your Adam's flies. <clears throat> Another one is, here is, this is a cream CDC. And these are just the the scraps from using the cream CDC and what you could do with this is you can strip them off and use them as dubbing or you can use them strip them off and use them on small flies also <clears throat> instead of throwing them away and also recently I made a friend a bunch of uh, midnight stones for going up to the to the Salmon River in New York and I used black rabbit mostly the guard hairs for the tails and uh, so I have a cup full of of black rabbit uh, scraps and instead of throwing them out I'm gonna put them in my in my coffee grinder you put them in there quick give them a Have just four or five blasts with the on the coffee grinder, and here I got a whole bunch of uh, black rabbit uh, dubbing. And later, I'll I'll mix it up with some of the olive GSS, and I'll have my black rabbit crystal dub. And there's a whole bunch of small things like that. Another another thing is <clears throat> you can get. Uh, you can get velcro this isn't going to be this isn't going to work but I'll just show you here you have velcro and you have those hooks and you could get this velcro that has has a glue strip on the bottom it's kind of like tape but you can stick them on your table or on a one of your containers that you have setting on the table all the time and what that is good for is take a feather just grab a stray and you put that put your feather in there and there you have one if you're if you're done tying see if you're using a saddle hackle a nice long saddle hackle and you tie a few flies with it and then you got it left over stick it on that velcro let it hang that's what I got that's what I do so I hope that you uh, learn something from this little quick tip and enjoy fly tying thank you very much for watching all my videos